Hi, welcome back to Tapping with Kelly. If you're struggling to manifest your desires, you've come to the right place. If the law of attraction has let you down, welcome. You're right where you're supposed to be. In this two-part video series, it's broken up into morning and evening tapping sessions. I'm going to put a link below for the evening tapping video. But in this two-part series, I'm going to help you reach that state of perfect vibrational alignment with your desires by way of gratitude. And we're going to do this lightning fast with EFT. And in the process, we're going to annihilate the limiting beliefs that have most likely kept you in status quo and on that hamster wheel of life for way too long. So by tapping every morning and every night, this will keep you in vibrational alignment with gratitude, which will attract abundance, which will manifest your desires. And for this all to work, it's essential that you tap along to this video series every morning and every night for four weeks. So really quickly, there's a three-step process to achieving perfect vibrational alignment with your desires. One, you deny the reality of your senses, in the words of Neville Goddard. And this simply means detach from your current reality, what you're seeing around you, and instead focus all your energy and tension on your inner reality, your subconscious, which is where your desire currently resides. So think of vibrational alignment as a uh, mirror, and it reflects your feelings, uh, what you believe to be true um, reflects your inner reality, which is your subconscious, to your outer reality. Again, is what we're seeing around us. So that's step one, is denying the reality of your senses um, and visualizing your dream uh, already coming true, the euphoria experience, the joy and the gratitude, which brings us to step two, gratitude. By aligning yourself with gratitude, you will naturally be in vibrational alignment with your desire. So gratitude itself is a form of abundance and the vibrational frequency of gratitude and appreciation will automatically attract even more to be grateful for, including that which hasn't manifested yet, which is your desire. And then step three, it's you must eliminate any and all limiting beliefs. Uh, which would be, I'm not good enough, I'm not attractive enough, I'm not rich enough, bad things always happen to me, regardless of how positive I am. So it, doing all of this in tandem, like the denying the reality of your senses, uh, vibrating um, in perfect alignment with gratitude, and um, ridding yourself of limiting beliefs can be incredibly difficult when harsh reality clashes with what you're trying to manifest. So um, this is where EFT comes into play and why it's so incredibly powerful. EFT tapping will not only bulldoze over those limiting beliefs pretty damn quickly, but it's going to get you into a steady state of gratitude lightning fast. And you will persist in this state of gratitude and you will have eliminated the limiting beliefs because we will have been rewiring and reprogramming your brain in the best possible way. And again, we do this through EFT. And while we're doing this, you will naturally be able to deny the reality of your senses regardless of what's happening around you. So tapping along to this video again, that's why it is so important to do this every morning and every night, to keep you in this steady state of gratitude, to keep the limiting beliefs at bay, and to continually deny the reality of your senses. And it's even better if you can do so while tapping. Um, so let's just dive right into how, uh, manifesting our desires. All right, so we're gonna start with the side of hand. You can either do it like this or like this and just follow along, okay? Even though fear and doubt are creeping in my mind, telling me I'll never have what I want, I choose to love and forgive myself anyway. Even though I have constant fear and doubt that like to remind me of my past failures and that I'm not good enough and I will never succeed in manifesting my dreams. I choose to love and forgive myself anyway. Even though at times I don't feel good enough 
smart enough, attractive enough, rich enough, or deserving. I choose it deeply and completely. Love, forgive, and accept myself anyway. These limiting beliefs that creep up on me, convincing me I'll never achieve success in life. These doubts and fears and worry, telling me I will never manifest my desires. These doubts and fears telling me I will stay put in my current state of lack and unhappiness. These doubts and fears trying to convince me that I will fail yet again. And then nothing will happen for me except the same old, same old. And then I'll be left with disappointment yet again. It seems to be my lot in life. But what if these doubts and fears are the ones that have been robbing me of my desires? in dreams all along. What if, under the arm, what if these doubts and fears are thieves? They show up out of nowhere, always uninvited, and I allow them to steal my power. Wrists. For years I have handed over my power to doubt and fear. But I can take back my power I am in control of me. So why would I continue to give doubt and fear all that I have and be left with nothing but sadness and frustration? That doesn't seem like a fair trade. Head, I do not want to do that anymore. I choose to take back my power. And I choose to remove doubt and fear from every fiber of my being. Should any negative thoughts, doubts and fears try to creep back into my mind, I will not give them any attention. They are not welcome in my life. I choose to clear whatever might try to bring me down throughout the day. Now that I have my power back, I choose to have an amazing day today. I choose to raise my vibration to prosperity and gratitude, where my dreams and desires reside. I choose to be in perfect vibrational alignment with gratitude and all that I desire. And I choose to feel this high vibrational energy in every fiber of my being. I am grateful for everything, like having my mental faculties and for all my senses. And even those things I might have previously taken for granted, like potable water, running water and food. Under the arm. I am buzzing with joy and excitement. And I know I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. Wrists. I choose to feel excited about all the possibilities and opportunities flocking my way. I'm raising my vibrational energy. And I choose to be grateful for everything I have. I choose to radiate positivity, gratitude, and patience. I am thankful for all that I have. Even in those moments when I feel down, I choose to remind myself that I have things to be grateful for. And I choose to take note of all the blessings around me. I'm thankful for my safety family, my animals, and loved ones who support me. 
I am abundant in all and continue to track abundance left and right. I choose to align myself and my vibrational frequency with gratitude and with all that I desire. I am in perfect vibrational alignment with all that I desire and with gratitude. I choose to have an awesome day today and I will not allow anyone or anything to knock me out of vibrational alignment with gratitude in my desires. I am in perfect vibrational alignment with gratitude and my desires. And I am open and receptive to receive abundance and opportunities galore. I am so thankful for all the blessings bestowed upon me by God, the universe spirit. I am so excited and thankful for the manifestation of all my desires. And I am so excited for life and the continued blessings coming my way. Okay, so throughout the day, I want you to, hopefully you've already created that mind movie, that clip of you manifesting your dream and what it feels like. And I want you to take that clip and I want you to play it in your mind throughout the day. And even better if you can sneak off somewhere and tap along to it, tap along while you're visualizing it. In this mind movie, um, if you didn't already know, uh, I want you to like get so detailed. What are you wearing? Who are you with? What are you talking to that person about? What is the weather like? Do you hear a car honking in the, uh, the background? Do you see what I mean? Like get as detailed as possible. And most importantly, tap into deny the reality of your senses, which means you're going inside. And I want you to feel everything associated with achieving that dream. I want you to feel the joy, the euphoria, and the gratitude. All right, so I will see you tonight in the evening EFT wind down video. Um, and until then, I hope you have a kick ass day.